1932 was a big year for Ford. They introduced their new 65 horsepower V8 engine in the B model car and BB model truck. The sales of all vehicles were at a record low because of the depression. The pictured one and a half ton BB has a 50 horsepower four cylinder and a four speed transmission. Note the chrome headlights and bumper. Manufacturers tried to dress up their vehicles to help sales. This is an original Montana truck that was used for hauling potatoes. It could dump from the side. When I bought it from the farmer, he had repainted it and added new tires. It has a solid body. I haven't done much besides checking it out and cleaning it up because I've had too many other projects. In 1933, my uncle Ronald Cutler Jr. purchased a 1933 Ford Model BB stake body truck with a flathead V8 for $888 for use on the family farm in Sadbury, Massachusetts. The truck was used to transport pr produce grown on the farm to markets in Boston and elsewhere. The restored truck sat in a barn for all of its life and as a result required only minor metal work when restored in 2007. It does have a rebuilt engine, a new paint job, new deck planks for the bed, and some new boards on the racks. Franklin was famous for their air-cooled engines, but did not have a low-priced car to sell during the Depression. In 1932, Franklin contracted with REO to purchase a number of their mid-sized REO Flying Cloud automobiles, into which Franklin would install their big six engine. Franklin called this model their Olympic. This Franklin Speedwagon uses the same chassis and sheet metal as the REO Speedwagon. Nineteen thirty six errands. Formerly owned by Ashland, Wisconsin Fire Department, where I grew up, I used to go to the fire stations and see the rigs and fell in love with this one. I was able to purchase the pumper in 1975 and then restored it with Ken Soderbeck in Jackson, Michigan from 1977 to 1980. Really, Ken did the restoration. All I did was disassemble, clean, and sand parts. First year for light duty trucks from GMC. This is the original color combination when the truck was purchased in Arizona in June 1936. Selling price was $695, which included the deluxe trim, chrome headlights, chrome hood handles, radiator cap, and chrome hood vertical bars. I am the third owner and have owned it since 2003. Nineteen thirty six International Delivery Truck. Pedal Truck was owned by two oil companies prior to our buying it. It was a faded out red with little bodywork needed. The three compartment tank is plumbed to the rear where five gallon buckets are filled to be carried to the apartment dweller two and three stories up. White is not an original color, rather, we matched our company color. It has been restored by Bill Edwards of Auburn, New York. 
1937 Chevy Ambulance. This is the workhorse of the fleet and hauled most of them home. This week I drove it 2,400 plus miles to get some parts in Colorado. The original drivetrain could more than power over 10,000 foot peaks. In the picture below, it's pulling out a tree stump Christmas morning. It's been to a few national shows. My 37 Ford one and a half ton is the recent completion of a 10 year restoration and has never been shown yet. The truck was never a dump truck. I had to shorten the wheelbase from 157 inches to 132 and a half inches. The bed, running boards, rear fenders, wood, and virtually most parts behind the cab I had hand fabricated. The motor is a flat head with stock running gear and it still runs the mechanical brakes which works absolutely fine. It runs and drives like a beautiful old truck. 1937 Mac. This truck still has its original factory installed Cummins HB6 diesel engine, built in May 1937. It is one of the earliest diesel powered Macs, other than experimentals. With diesel engine, coupe cabs, shaft drive, and air brakes, it was considered a highway heavy hauler. 1937 Stutz. This is the first diesel powered fire truck in the US. Stutz Fire Apparatus Company built this custom pumper in 1937 in Hartford City, Indiana with the Cummins HR6 engine. After two years of promotional tours across the states, it was placed into service at Columbus Fire Department Station 1 in 1939, where it has served for 35 years before retiring. At the time, it was the first diesel-powered fire truck in the U.S., but today nearly every fire truck is diesel-powered, and most of those with Cummins. 1938 Chevrolet Our truck has original color and pinstripes. We installed a 59 six-cylinder engine for a pressurized oil system and more power. The rear and gears have been changed to allow highway speeds. Radial tires improve the ride, along with bright halogen headlights and LED taillights. 1938 Dodge. I am the second owner. Purchased it several years ago from a family that bought it new in 1938. Been familiar with the truck all of my life, and I am 72. Have the original Pennsylvania title, paper, and history. The truck is all original. All wood bed, including frame, stringers, cross members, and sideboards. No rot. Honestly kept in heated garage all its life. Painted original colors once many years ago. Plus or minus 49,000 original miles. Speedometer and everything else works. Flathead six cylinder, four speed. 1938 Mac EE. In 1901, five Mac brothers founded the Mac Brothers Company, which is still producing trucks today. Their first motor vehicle was a one-ton, 15-passenger bus with a 24-horsepower engine, which they also built. The 1938 EE pictured here has had a complete off-frame restoration. 1938 Mac EH 1938 Custom Body Mac Moving Van This moving van was restored in 1990 and lettered with 23-karat gold leaf lettering, which was traditionally put on all Verney family moving vans. The Verney company began in 1903 transporting trucks for the Lackawanna Railroad in Patterson, New Jersey. We were North American van lines agents for over 50 years. 1939 Errands. This truck was originally purchased by Munster, Indiana for $6,750. The truck was in service until 1953 when it was sold to a collector. The truck had three more owners until I purchased it in 2000. Most of the truck is original and has much of its original equipment or equipment of that era. The truck participates in many local parades and shows. 
1936 tractor. The tank was made by the Davis Welling and Manufacturing Company of Cincinnati, Ohio. The tanks were tested to see the savings of aluminum over steel in 1929 and 1930. The trailer was spotted by Andy Henderson. Over 100 hours was needed to restore this large aluminum tank and the truck into a tractor. It was restored by Bill Edwards of Auburn, New York. The Chevy tractor was a farm stack rack truck. The frame was shortened and the fifth wheel was added. Mac. He's doing a video. This is a 1935 BMW.